Ever notice how Windows 11 feels like it has a split personality? You've got this beautiful modern settings app and then this thing from the 90s. What if I told you Microsoft has been trying to kill the control panel for over a decade and failing. It's 2025 and Windows 11 is rocking this sleek modern interface, yet somehow the control panel is like that old Nokia phone in your drawer, it just refuses to die. But here's the thing, Microsoft isn't keeping it around for nostalgia. Imagine you're running a hospital, your entire patient management system was built when Windows XP was cool. This software costs million to develop and it's specifically programmed to work with, you guessed it, the control panel. Think of Windows like a city. The settings app is the modern downtown with its gleaming skyscrapers, but underneath there's a complex network of old tunnels and infrastructure keeping everything running. That's the control panel. These older programs aren't just looking for settings, they're hardwired to expect specific control panel paths and commands. Remove those and boom, your expensive software just turned into a very costly paperweight. But here's another plot twist. Power users, the IT pros and system administrators usually prefer the control panel for certain tasks. Why? Because it gives them deeper control over Windows than the settings app ever could. Needs to configure advanced system permissions? Control panel. Want to set up complex network protocols? control panel. It's like having a master key versus a regular key. Sometimes you just need that extra access. So what's Microsoft's game plan? They're playing it smart, really smart. Instead of demolishing the control panel overnight, they're slowly moving its features to the settings app. One, by one. It's like renovating a building while people are still working inside. Microsoft's end goal is clear. Eventually, everything will move to the settings app, but they're taking their time to do it right. Each Windows update quietly moves a few more controls over, making sure nothing breaks in the process. So next time you stumble upon the control panel in Windows 11, remember, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Windows can run without control panel, but for now, millions of systems still needed to run on Windows.